hello guys welcome back in the last lecture we have discussed all about how we can use php my admin to create a database in this video i'm going to teach you how you can use the database to upload the php based website so i'm going to show you my uh, simple web application that are developed in php and also mysqli database behind the application have a database i'm going to show you the database i use localhost php my admin and this is my local uh, databases so i go to remember me and inside the remember me this is a remember me uh, database name and table name is login user and this is a username and this is a password password is encrypted so i'm going to use the admin and admin and I'm able to see the dashboard. This is a very simple uh, application, but this time I'm going to show you how you can upload this one website with live server. So we have uh, used this one domain. I have deleted, uh, I have removed the uh, HTML based website from this one directly. I mean, I want to upload the uh, PHP based website on there. So first of all, you need to export the php based website i mean database so you need to go on your local host php my admin and select the particular database like remember me and then you need to click on export and click to go once you export the particular database from your local computer then the next thing you need to upload your php projects on particular directory or particular domain so I go to my uh, particular directory like remember me this is my project with the name of remember me inside there all the files are related with my php based project first of all you need to select all the files and right click it and click to zip right once you zip that then you need to upload this one file with the particular domain so let's see I go to cPanel and go to file manager and public underscore HTML and I'm gonna select tutorials you can't see anything else inside there so you need to click upload and drag and drop this one file go back and right click it and extract there extract here and reload that and refresh your particular domain you can't see anything else why because you need to upload the database and also manage the database inside your web application like php so let's see how we can manage that so you need to go on file manager again and this is your i'm going to remove this one zip file you need to find out the connection file inside the includes folder have a connection.php file you need to open that and edit edit so you need to change few things on there this is a username this is a password this is a database name so we have made the database username and also password we need to use the same uh, details on there and we need to also upload the local database like remember me with our created database i'm going to show you example so first thing you need to open your notepad and you need to copy your database name and paste on there and your username also is the same you need to paste on there and your password is udemy that's it you need to use same thing to create it uh, we have made the database uh, and also use the name same i'm going to show you database a uh, name is a tube class underscore udemy a username also same and password is udemy save that once you save that then you need to close this one file and you need to go on file uh, c panel uh, open the php my admin and then you need to find out your database name so i'm going to show you we have made the database uh this one tube underscore class underscore udemy you need to select that and click to import 
and click to choose file and upload the particular local database like remember we have exported the remember me i mean remember database from our local computer so click go then your site your php based website will be live on cpanel or live server you will able to see just a minute uh, it's take a time perfect so let's see open the our project as you can see guys our php based website has been appeared over particular domain like uh, particular subdomain so i'm going to use same thing admin and admin click to login and there we go guys as you can see our website has been running on the web i'm able to log out that i'm able to perform the many things on there so this is uh, all about how you can use the particular database to upload the php based website on cpanel so i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture